Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, laughing boy here. And, well, today I'm going to bring you another video that's a little bit different than my normal. Uh, today I want to uh, kind of do a little bit of comparison, just a quick video on um, a comparison between gaming journalist and what I want to call a gamer journalist. Um, and not really, I, I don't want to like, I'm not going to go through a list of uh, pros and cons and all of this, but I just want to uh, just make a, a short video, kind of give you uh, my view on, um, kind of give you my view on things. I mean, recently, we had a, uh, we, we've seen, <laughs> there was a, a, a gaming journalist, or a game journalist, uh, however you want to say it, that uh, spent 26 minutes on uh, failing at <laughs> the tutorials of Cuphead. Now, I mean, I, I haven't played Cuphead. I was told, I've been told that it is a difficult game. But I uh, don't think um, many people have failed at the tutorial and published it. And, but uh, he spent apparently he spent apparently 26 minutes on it and he couldn't get past this one jump and he actually had a child in the room with him that told him how to do the jump, even though it was written on the screen what you had to do to make that jump. And more recently, uh, of course, <laughs> Need for Speed Payback came out, and IGN did a really, really bad review on it. Um, well, I mean, I say it's a bad review. They were criticizing things about the game that are not actually there. Um, they kind of, it was kind of uh, groundless <laughs> criticism. Uh, for example, they were saying, uh, the uh, reviewer was saying that... Uh, well, he was talking about the uh, the parts system. Granted, yes, you when you win a race or an event, you um, you get a random part. You don't know what it is. You pick, you know, you 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 pick one of three cards and you get a random part. Okay, it's an extra prize. It's free. You also get money, which you can spend at the parts house, which I believe he actually showed in the video. While he was criticizing, uh, while he was criticizing this, um, and saying he called it, uh, he compared it to walking into a parts house blindfolded and throwing darts and walking out with whatever it was that you hit, when in fact you can actually go into the uh, into the parts house in the game and it pick the part that you want well you they have a limited they have a limited supply but you're not picking anything blindly you know exactly what it is that you're looking at it's it says you know head gearbox block wh whatever it also tells you what brand it is it tells you what perk it it it, it has that, that comes with it if any come if any at all come and even on the left hand side on the column it tells you, uh, you can see the difference it will make in your car's statistics. Meanwhile, one of my, uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, Born15, he is one of my featured channels and he's in, his name should be in the, uh, his link should be in the description below. He had been doing a series on, on the game and, uh, you know, because he had, he had gotten a hold of a, a um, well, he had he had early access to the game, and uh, well, he had been showing he'd been showcasing the game and, and telling people about it and different different aspects of the game. In fact, it was him. It, it, he was the only reason that I knew d that IGN had uh, had rated it that way because um, because he did a video on it. I don't pay any attention to IGN. I, would rather look at what Bourne does. Uh, I would also, you know, uh, and um, Bourne recommends uh, recommends a few other ones. And uh, anyway, my point is, is when it comes to video games, if you want to know 
what you know if you want to know about the video game go to a gamer these uh, a gaming journalist or a game journalist has uh, well their job is to write articles so they spend their time writing articles they spend a little bit of time to uh, play in the game so that they'll have something to write about but that's about all you know th that's it they're you know they're playing the game to write an article then they go and write the article whereas a gamer or what I want to call a gamer journalist you know gamer journalist is a person who um, well <laughs> person who has one of these in their hand I'm talking about youtubers I'm talking about people who post to Facebook or Twitch or wherever else I'm talking about people whose passion is the game, not the journalism. For example, if you want to know about a racing game, go find out what Bourne has to say about it. If you want to find out find out about a uh, indie sci-fi, go to Cobra TV. If you want to find out about the next farming simulator game, go to Brad M73. There are just you know, if you if you want to know about it, look it up on YouTube. Find a gamer that is playing it don't go and don't rely uh, just on uh, on IGN or any other <laughs> any other gaming journalist in fact I wouldn't go to those sources at all and I don't go to those sources at all like I said the only reason I knew that IGN gave uh, uh, gave Need for Speed Payback such a bad review was because because of a gamer journalist one that actually knows what he's talking about <laughs> anyway um yeah uh it, that's pretty much all i have for you today uh hashtag gamer journalist again i'm going to remind you please remember not only for myself but for any youtube video that you happen to see out there please remember to leave a like if you liked it thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day laughing boy out